So with our current foundation that we've built, it's very easy to now add on some of the features that Slate.js has and some of the plugins and we can integrate them in with the project. So in this video, we are going to be adding some formatting, at least get you started on how you may go about doing that. So the idea is in this video, we're gonna tackle bolding, but I'll give you the idea of how you can do this with any kind of styling you wanna to add to the editor. So what we're going to do is be able to highlight a chunk of text and push a button and it will bold the text for us. So that is what we're going to be building and the cool thing is this is also going to replicate across the two different browsers. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is I'm going to add a button to our editor. So I'm going to wrap this in a fragment currently in the syncing editor uh, file. And I'm just going to add a button up here and it's called bold and when I click on it what I want here is bold selected text right so how can we do this well to basically add styling to a chunk of text in slate what you do is you create a mark or set the text to a mark so we can do this by saying um, editor dot current so we're getting reference to the current slate editor and here we can say add mark and now we can give them the mark a name. Now you can give this whatever name you want. I'm going to call mine bold. Now the idea is once we add the mark to the text, uh, we can then render um, in our slate editor different things depending on what the mark of the text is. So here I'm going to say on render or on mark. Wait, what's it called? I thought it was on this is the right thing. I mean, it's not, oh, it's called render mark, not on render mark. So now with a uh, render mark here, we're going to get some props. We're going to give access to the editor, which we're not really going to use. So we can underscore that. And then lastly is this thing called next. So here I can say if the props dot mark dot type are equal to bold, I'm going to return a specific react element so for example a strong and we can say props that children here now I'm checking the type because it's possible that we want all kinds of different styling in our application and we can add italics um, or headers and whatever kind of stuff you want and this is kind of like express where if we don't handle what should be returned we should call next and so that's what we're doing here so we're gonna give that a save and now jump back to our code. Um, you can see I was playing around with this, so it's already bold. But if I do a highlight and click this, um, we can see the entire text is bold. And I'm gonna delete this starting over. Oh, it's already bold. Now you'll notice um, if I click bold here, it's not unbolding the text. So how can we do that? Well, you'll notice when we said add mark here, Instead of saying add mark, we can do this command called toggle mark, and so that will toggle it on and off. So we can click it to add on and off. Now you notice my selection kind of went away. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that uh, the on click is not as good as on mouse down, at least for like retaining the retention of the selection. And also it's good usually to add prevent default because we're overriding this behavior basically. Um, and so I noticed that, well, it didn't really do it there, um, but uh, sometimes it grabs the, there we go, selection is being held better this time. And so now we can toggle on and off. And you'll see as I'm making changes in the editor is happening on both the screens, so that's pretty cool. Um, and again, this is just a React element that we're rendering here, which means we can do any styling we want here. So for example, I can play with the letter spacing, like, I don't know, I don't know what a good letter spacing amount is. We can do one, and let's say the color I wanna make pink. Um, and now we have our own like little chunk here, um, not pink. We can unbold it. So you can get customizable styling in there very easily, and we can create as many marks as we want. So if we want to add another one in, so we have a bold mark and maybe we have an italic mark. And here we can say if the mark type, else if 
is italic, we want to render something totally different. And that should be curly braces around. And so for this, I'm going to say italic. Is italic a tag or is it called em? I think it's probably em. All right, let's see if this works. Should rename this to italic. There we go. So that made it italic. And now we have two times two kinds of styling in there. And again, these can be custom React components too. You can add emotion or styled components in this if you like, or just use plain CSS and add class names. So that is it for this series of basically creating a mini Google Docs clone. My suggestion to go from here is to take this project and add your own Slate.js functionality in there. I recommend the docs going through some of their tutorials are very good. Uh, try adding in some of the uh, customization blocks. There's all kinds of different styling you can do, adding links and whatnot. Um, and I think this project can be a very nice portfolio piece for you. Um, it can look really, really nice and impressive to uh, employers. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the series.